Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about inheritance. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the extends keyword in Java. We're going to talk about how we can extend the functionality of a class into another class. This is a really cool feature in Java, and when you're creating a lot of classes and you're using uh, different class structures in Java, this can come in handy a lot. So I'm going to show you guys an example. We're going to talk about what this is and why it's awesome. So over here in my files, I've created a file called chef.java. And this is a class that's just called chef. And inside of this class, we basically have three methods. So we have this make chicken method, we have this make salad method, and we have this make special dish method. So these are three methods that would correspond to a chef, right? A chef can do, let's say our chef can do three things. He can make chicken, he can make salad, and he can make a special dish. And inside of each one of these methods, we're basically just printing out some text. So these are really simple methods, but they're just here to kind of illustrate the point I'm trying to make. So it, for example, in make chicken, it's just system.out.println. It says the chef makes a delicious chicken. In make salad, it just says the chef makes a healthy salad. In make special dish, it just says the chef makes barbecue ribs. So here's our basic chef class. You know, the chef can do three things, make chicken, make salad, or make a special dish. Over here in my app.java file, and I have my main method over here. I've actually created a chef. So it's just called normal chef and I set it equal to a new chef, right? So I just created a new instance of the chef class. I created a chef object. And what I can do now is I can actually perform some of those operations. So I can say, hey, normal chef, why don't you make chicken? So when I call this make chicken method, you'll see over here on the screen, we should print out the chef makes a delicious chicken. So I told the chef to make a chicken and he did. So then I can also say chef dot make salad and the chef will make a salad. So let's press play and you can see it says the chef makes a healthy salad. I could also make the special dish. Normal chef dot make special dish and they should make the barbecue ribs. So our normal chef can make a variety of dishes. Now let's say that we wanted to model another type of chef in our program. So let's say that in addition to just creating a normal sort of generic chef, we also wanted to create an Italian chef. Well, I can come over here and I'm just going to make a new class. So we'll make a class called Italian chef and we can just click finish and this is going to create an Italian chef class for us. So you can see here we have this Italian chef.java file and we have this public class Italian chef. So now we're dealing with another chef, right? So let's say that our Italian chef can cook everything that the normal chef could cook. So our normal chef can cook chicken, salad, and a special dish. And let's say that our Italian chef can also cook chicken, salad, and a special dish. But in addition to those three dishes, the Italian chef can also cook spaghetti. So one thing I can do is just, I could come over here and I could just write out all of those methods again, right? So I could come to this chef class and we'll copy all of these methods. Cause remember the Italian chef can do everything the normal chef can do. So I'll copy all these methods. I'll put them in over here. So now the Italian chef is able to make salad, chicken, and a special dish. And he's able to make one more thing, which is spaghetti. So we'll add another method, public void make pasta and in here it's just gonna basically print out like the chef makes pasta so here we have a method and the chef is now able to make pasta but let's also say that this chef wants to have a different special dish so that normal chef was able to make barbecue ribs as the special dish but let's say that the italian chef is gonna make eggplant parm so so now when we use this special dish, the chef is gonna make eggplant parm. So let's head back over to our app.java file and I'm just going to copy this so we'll make another chef, Italian chef, right? Now, down here we can say Italian chef dot make special dish. So you can see up here we're saying normal chef dot make special dish. Down here we're saying Italian chef dot make special dish. So if I play this, We'll see the normal chef makes barbecue ribs and the other chef makes eggplant parm. But you'll notice that I can use all the same methods inside of this Italian chef, 
as I did inside the normal chef. So down here I could say like Italian chef dot make chicken and this Italian chef's gonna be able to make chicken, right? Can make a delicious chicken. And also we have that additional attribute which would be to make pasta. So we can say Italian chef dot make pasta and it just says the chef makes pasta. Okay, so essentially what happened here was I created a normal chef and then I created a, another type of chef, which is an Italian chef. Now let's say that we wanna create one more type of chef. So we're gonna create a Chinese chef. So I'm gonna make another class. So I'll make one more class and we're just gonna say Chinese chef. So this person will be cooking Chinese food and we click finish. So now we have our Chinese chef. And let's say once again, the Chinese chef is gonna be able to do everything that that normal chef could do. So the Chinese chef can make chicken, can make salad, and can make a special dish. So I'm just gonna take all those methods and I'm just gonna paste them in here. And now once again, let's say that the Chinese chef can also make an additional dish. So the Chinese chef can make uh, fried rice. So we can say public void make fried rice. And this is basically just gonna print out, the chef makes fried rice. So this Chinese chef, in addition to being able to make chicken, salad, and special dish, can also make fried rice. And let's say that we want the special dish to, instead of being barbecue ribs, be orange chicken. All right, so we have a Chinese chef, we have an Italian chef, and we just have our normal chef. And over here in my app.java file, again, I can just create an object for our Chinese chef, Chinese chef. And again, this chef can do everything that those other two chefs can do, um, except it can't make eggplant parm like the Italian chef, and it has a different special dish. All right, so essentially what I did was I created three classes, and what I want you guys to notice about these classes is they have similar methods. So this chef class has three methods, this Italian chef has those same three methods, and the Chinese chef has those same three methods. But what I did was I basically just copy and pasted the methods from this normal chef into the Italian chef and into the Chinese chef. And this is kind of a lot of work, right? If I wanted to create another chef, for example, like a French chef, I would have to do the same exact thing. I'd have to copy and paste all of those methods from the chef class into that new French chef class. And so this is a situation where we can use something called inheritance. An inheritance is basically where a certain Java class can inherit other methods from another Java class. So for example, this Chinese chef class would be able to inherit this make chicken class, this make salad class, and this make special dish class from the chef class. So it wouldn't actually have to include them in here. So let me show you guys how this works. Inside this Chinese chef, I can actually just get rid of make chicken, make salad, and make special dish. I'm just gonna delete them. Okay, so 100% upfront, they're just gone. What I can do over here is I can say public class. So after I say the name of our class Chinese chef, I can use a special reserved word in Java called extends. I can say E-X-T-E-N-D-S. And now I can type in the name of the class that I want to extend. So I can say chef. And essentially what I'm doing here is I'm extending all of the functionality from the chef class. So over here, this chef.java file has a make chicken method, a make salad method, and a make special dish method. And essentially by saying extends chef, this Chinese chef class is actually gonna have all of those functions included inside of it automatically. So let me show you guys how this works. I'm gonna come over here to this Chinese chef object and you'll notice that inside of the Chinese chef class, I don't have a, meth a method called make chicken or make salad, but I can still access that method inside of this object. So I can say Chinese chef dot make salad. And when I print this out to the screen, you'll see it says the chef makes a healthy salad. So down here, this is the Chinese chef is able to make a healthy salad. So I'm able to use all of the functionality from that normal chef, from that chef class, inside of the Chinese chef class. And that's basically just saving me a lot of time. I don't have to like physically copy all of these methods and put them over into here. I can just extend the functionality of the chef class and they're included automatically. Also then I can include 
custom methods. So for example, I can include this make fried rice method inside the Chinese chef, even though it's not included in the chef class. So I have all of the functionality of the chef class with the added functionality of being able to make fried rice. But if you guys remember, there is also the situation with the special dish. So the chef over here is making a special dish, making barbecue ribs. But if you remember, the Chinese chef had actually changed this. So the Chinese chef's special dish was orange chicken. What you can do when you're extending a class is you can actually override some of the methods. So what I could do is I could copy this make special dish method from inside of the chef.java file. And then over here in the Chinese chef.java file, I can just make my own special dish method. So over here, I can say the chef makes orange chicken. And now this make special dish method inside of the Chinese chef class is gonna override the make special dish method that we got from the chef class. So if I came over to my app.java file, I could say Chinese chef dot make special dish. And the Chinese chef is now going to be making orange chicken instead of those barbecue ribs. So you can see here, chef makes orange chicken. So if I don't like one of the methods that I'm getting from the class that I'm extending from, I can just override it like we did here in the Chinese chef class. So I could do the same thing with this Italian chef class, right? I could basically just get rid of make chicken and make salad because those two methods are gonna be the same. And you'll notice here, I'm still overriding this make special dish. So the Italian chef's gonna make eggplant parm and the Italian chef is still able to make pasta. All I have to do up here though, is just say extend chef. And this Italian chef is still gonna be able to make chicken and salad even though I'm not like specifying it inside of here. So that's the power of extend. That's why extends can be awesome. Anytime that you're reusing or you're using the same methods in multiple classes, like we did over here with these different chefs, you wanna tr consider using extends. You wanna consider extending a class because honestly, it's just gonna make your life a lot easier and it's gonna make it a lot easier to manage. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.